I literally thought it was a cat. I was like, do they leave their cat here? It's a big ass squirrel, man. Maybe we should just like, leave the door open and see if it goes out. How did it get in here? Probably through the fireplace. So what we need is like a trail of food to get him. There he is. See him? There he is. Look at him. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh. Bro, that's a big squirrel, man. I told you. That's dude, that's, dude, that's true. Go over there and like, a, wrap yourself up in like as much clothes as you can possibly find, and then just go over and open the door. He's probably not gonna come out because he'll probably wanna hide. All right, you're good, man, you're protected. You might wanna put on some sweats, though. <laughs> Are you going to open the door? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's under the stove! <laughs> Get this door shut. There you go. There you go. Now that's perfect. Man, it's not there. See, there's no cracks, right? I don't think so. There, I can't really tell. There might be a little gap, but behind the cupboards. But it's like it's so inch. so small. Yeah, I guess he's gone. Good job, bro. We did it. No oh, thanks to you. Go on, subscribe to this man. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to Whole Foods? Right. So yeah, when I'm on the go, I'll usually have alphamine in the morning instead of coffee. 84 servings, um, and you basically get caffeine and theanine in here. So it's a good little energy drink, and it's a little quicker than uh, having a coffee in the morning. The apple teeny flavor, so good. Guys, we're here in LA. Uh, we decided to come here for a couple days after past competition. How are you feeling, man? Oh, I feel amazing. <laughs> this guy's just telling me he ordered Uber Eats at like midnight last night, smashed some alphamine, did some work, and this was after we went for a whole bunch of sushi. So he's, he's looking mighty full oh, over here. Good, man. <laughs> I've been trying to convince Rashawn to compete 2019 Muscle Mayhem, and I think he's gonna do it. What do you think? Maybe? So, <laughs> I was supposed to write him a program last night, but we went for sushi instead. <laughs> the plan is for him to do a six month bulk and then a six month cut, or maybe like an eight month bulk, four month cut, depending on how he's looking and stuff. But I'd love to be back at the Muscle Mayhem again next year, rooting on Rashawn. Maybe maybe you could have like the dynamic duo coaching package. Like Pat and I could both kind of kind of co-coach yeah. and you'll just bring the ultimate package to the stage. He's actually got a really nice physique. I think you just need to add a little bit more width and you could do, I think, really well in men's physique. So I'd love to see it happen, man. Let's do it. So right now we're actually on our way to Whole Foods. Um, I didn't want to mess with the stove too much. I still have a feeling there's a squirrel in there somewhere. Uh, so we're going to go to Whole Foods, get a quick bite to eat, and then we're going to go hit some legs. They don't have uh, breakfast at Whole Foods, but I just want to get some protein. Something the other day started. I really like eating at Whole Foods, man. It's really fresh. The mac and cheese is so good. Let me get some chicken. This is the best mac and cheese, don't you think? You think so? I think so. Better be, it's so expensive. <laughs> I love broccoli. You say that curry sauce is too lean. Just want a little bit of the flavor. There we go. That's it. Yeah, it's meal number one. You guys know what I got here. It's chicken, it's more chicken, potatoes, broccoli. These green peas, or green beans with walnuts, are my, that's my new favorite thing at Whole Foods. What do you think, that would be the pre-workout meal? Yeah, man. I think after this, I might run to the barber shop and just get a little line up here after this, so. Can you up? Check in with you guys in a minute. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just looking for a beard trim. I don't have an appointment or anything. Uh, Did you do walk-ins yet? No, it's gonna be like, maybe like 30 minutes, like 20 30 minutes, 20 30? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll hang out. Wait. I don't think I've ever actually like lit down this much at a barber shop before. <laughs> this is how they do it in LA. Smells like thin people. Feels good, man. Right? It's pretty good. I can like do it myself, but it's hard to get this part back here, right? Because you kind of have to go side on. Yeah. It's so much easier to just get a barber to do it. All right. Any squirrels? 
<laughs> Shit. <laughs> Quick pre-workout mix up and then we're gonna head and go get some legs. So what do we got here? Lately I've actually been, so this is a bit of an unorthodox mix, but I actually like it. So I've been doing high volume mixed with the alphamine just cause I love this apple teeny flavor and they don't have it in prolific. So I've been mixing the apple teeny alphamine with the pa paradise cooler high volume. That's a really good combo. Cause this is just their like non stim pump product, which is great for training at night. Um, and this is basically just a stimulant product. So when you mix them together, it actually works quite well. Of course, that's, that is what Prolific is. So if Prolific is stimulant plus pump, uh, but if you do it this way, you get the apple tea flavor. That's great. I'm so scared that a squirrel is just gonna pop up. <laughs> In one scoop, there is 125 milligrams of caffeine. So I'm gonna two scoop it. So over here, I want four to six grams of L-citrulline. So I'm actually gonna two and a half scoop this one. Two and a little bit. Ah, that's so good. So I've got a big hypertrophy focused leg day on the menu for today. So I'm gonna sip on this, call the Uber, and then I'll check in with you guys over at the gym. All right guys, we're here at Equinox Gym, Santa Monica. Gotta thank my man Stefan for hooking me up. What's up rocking guys? Rocking the, the max tuning ever forward over here, I love it. Um, anyway, we're gonna hit a leg day today, so I'm actually starting out with box squats. So with my current programming, what I've been doing is I'll have one hypertrophy or strength focused squat day where I'll be in, in this block, the six to eight rep range. And now today I'm actually doing five sets of two on a box squat, which may sound really random, but I'm basically doing that to help hone in on my technique. Uh, the box really helps me focus on the mechanics of the lift and also allows me to work in kind of more of a dynamic effort rep zone. Um, so I'm basically gonna power off the box as explosively as I can. And that's a way of me to, for me to kind of manage my fatigue where I'm not either going very high rep or very heavy every time. Um, so we're gonna get warmed up here now, do some leg swings, do some dynamic stretches, a little bit of foam rolling, and then we're gonna hop into some squats. Little risers because you can set the box to the perfect height. Sometimes the benches aren't great, but I basically want it to be right at parallel. So I'm gonna get rid of one more box. I don't normally do box squats, but I just started a new phase and I kind of wanted to manage my fatigue a little bit better rather than doing like astrograph squats yeah. every workout. And with these, it really forces me to like control a lot on the negative mm -hmm. and then on the, on the positive, I can explode out. But only having to do doubles is so much easier on the rest of my system than having to do like sets of six or eight, you know? Right. Many Some ways theories, to skin right? the cat, right? Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate thing with powerlifting, this, if I could just give you like one bit of like token advice, it would be your success in powerlifting will be a function of you doing it long enough without getting injured. Okay. That's the best thing I can say. Like okay. just and get, I'm get stronger over on time. Proper mechanics. Don't snap yourself up, and you'll get you'll get there. You know, yeah. um, and mechanics obviously. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Right. The best thing yeah. you can do is make those linear gains, linear strength gains, progressive overload, yeah. workout to workout to workout. You've been doing it for six months. Come a year, maybe 18 months, you're not gonna be able to do that anymore. Oh, no, your yeah. strength it's will, just will like body level off, right? You'll, yeah, you'll apply for it. exactly. And then once you get to that point, that's when things will get a little bit more complex okay. and you'll wanna start undulating stuff. So basically you might wanna have one strength focus day, one speed day, or one strength day, one hypertrophy day, something like that. You're not going in and doing the same and taxing the exact same systems every single workout. Um, and then you can get into like, more volume accumulation, which will be more important. But for now, you don't need to worry about that stuff. Yeah. As long as you're making strength gains, you're doing it right. All right, what's going on everyone? Uh, we're just here on the deck outside Equinox, overlooking downtown Santa Monica. Uh, it's super nice here. Um, excuse if there's a little bit of wind. We actually just got told that we weren't allowed to film in there, which is understandable, more of a commercial gym, um, but they did let us take a couple clips on the cell phone. Um, so I'll put those clips up here. They won't be the best quality, uh, but hopefully they'll make do. Um, I'm just gonna take you guys really quickly through the workout. Started off with box squats. We did five sets of two. Uh, with three, I ended up putting on 335 for this workout. Uh, so I did 315 my last speed workout. And that's something newly that I've kind of introduced. Um, not a regular part of my programming, uh, but where I'm going so high volume on my other squat day, I like to put these in just to get that extra technique training in uh, without really taxing my system too much. 
and I also like to s switch it up with the variety, so I'll occasionally throw in front squats or back squats as just a squat variation to really hone in my technique, uh, make it a little more quad focused too. Um, so up next was supposed to be machine squats or hack squats, uh, but they didn't have that machine here, so the closest thing we had was a leg press, um, and I did those for three sets of 10 reps. On my second set, my belt actually dug into my rib, <laughs> and I think I bruised my rib because it was actually really painful. So if you're tempted to wear a belt on a leg press, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I only did it because my lower back was starting to feel a little bit tight. Went for that extra little bit of range of motion uh, on that last rep of my second set. And it really hurt, so don't do that. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, uh, 10 reps on the leg press. Then we moved on to some uh, Romanian deadlifts with a dumbbell. We did three sets of 12 reps. And here, uh, I focus on getting a little bit more range of motion than I'd get with a barbell. And uh, just really getting that stretch on the hamstrings, setting the hips back, and lowering the dumbbell straight down uh, with the center of the dumbbell being centered over the midfoot the whole way. And with this exercise, you wanna focus on not going too heavy to the point that you really lose that mind-muscle connection with your hamstrings uh, because it's so easy for your glutes or lower back to start to take over with those. Up next, we did three sets of 15 to 20 reps. For me, I ended up actually doing 15, then like a two-second pause, and then I banged out another five. Now, so a bit of an extended set on these. Uh, and then for my last set, after that, I did a set of walking lunges for, I think it was 20 total strides, just to really burn out the quads and the glutes, kind of finish everything off. Um, and then as a so-called finisher exercise, we finished with cable pull-throughs to really hit the glutes. This is one of those exercises that I actually hate to do, but I know it works so well. Same thing goes for hip thrust. Um, it's just a basic hip extension movement. You really wanna get a really good stretch on the glutes at the bottom, so really let the cable go through your legs so that you're almost horizontal. It's been a while since I've done these, so if my form is horrible, you can let me know. <laughs> um, and then at the top, you wanna really squeeze your butt cheeks together like you're trying to pinch a coin or something between the between the cheeks. Pulse. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> and yeah, so this exercise is a lot like uh, the hip thrust, but it requires so much less setup than the hip thrust. So I like to throw this in at the end. And for this one, we just did two sets of 10 to 20 reps. And then we called it a wrap. So now, what's the plan, bro? I think we're gonna go hit up the beach, maybe. Yeah. Hit up uh, Venice Beach. So our Airbnb is like super close to Venice Beach. So I think we're gonna go, we should buy a basketball and go hoop down at like Muscle Beach or something. You down? Yeah, that'd be dope. That's a wrap for us. I'm gonna grab a quick post-workout. I'm gonna show you what I got here. When it's out in the sun, it melts. So good. Well, I am sponsored by PE Science, but this is seriously the best protein bar I've ever had. I, I would give, like, I would eat this even if there wasn't protein in it. It's so good. Have you tried, the, you've tried the no, white chocolate raspberry? Yeah, they're dope. The raspberry one's my favorite, but they're all good, man. Oh, bro, definitely. <laughs> What's going on guys? We're here at Venice Beach. I'm here with Pat. Steph. Basketball showdown's about to go down, so we gotta get uh, basketball. Let's see what they got in here. Not exactly spalding quality. Well, let's do 15 bucks for this. What do you think, bro? That's all we got. Better than nothing. I wonder if there'll be a better spot further down. Maybe I'll just get this guy right here. Can you get that down for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, it's game time. Okay. With the rainbow, it looks kind of cool. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Guys. Yeah, my pleasure, man. It's yeah. nice to meet you. I'll see you in the next video. Absolutely, man. Yeah, we'll <laughs> go for the vlog. Oh. You too. Right. Oh, there's the basketball. It's been a while. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that was bad, man. <laughs> That's a cut out. <laughs> Oh, he still got it. All right, Rashawn and I are gonna go one on one. First to three. Are you one on one? Yeah. You gotta respect me more than that.
Is that it? Yeah. Oh, that's a double. You better edit that shit fairly, bro. Right, right now. I'm gonna expose you on Instagram. So guys, I think we're gonna call it a tie for this one, about a score of one to one. Sean says, we're about on even playing field as basketball players. And uh, that's gonna conclude the vlog. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my last show day vlog from Pat over here. Uh, don't it's forget to subscribe. Put the button right over Steph's head right face. here. And uh, see you guys in the next one.